Okay, YouTube, welcome back to, like, the second part of this... this travesty of a stream. I have set up chat GPT. And so, to keep us entertained whilst I am doing this gacha game, it has generated a story. They need your phone number. So, they can sell your details. Probably. It's okay. I'll fall on that grenade for entertainment. Okay, so here's the story. You ready? Once upon, the, once upon a time, Link from The Legend of Zelda was on a journey to defeat evil forces threatening the land of Hyrule. As he traveled through the kingdom, he stumbled upon a mysterious shop that caught his attention. The shop was called the Magic Gacha, and it was filled with strange and unusual items that Link had never seen before. As Link approached the shop, the shopkeeper greeted him warmly and asked if he was interested in trying his luck at the magical gacha game. The shopkeeper explained that the game involved inserting a special token into a machine that would dispense a random prize. Link was intrigued and decided to give it a try. He inserted his token into the machine and watched as it spun around before landing on a prize. To his surprise, he had won a powerful magical sword that glowed with an otherworldly light. Over the next few days, Link found himself returning to the magic gacha again and again, drawn by the excitement of the game and the chance to win more powerful weapons and items. Each time he played, he won something new and useful, from a magical bow to a set of enchanted armor. As Link continued his journey through Hyrule, he found that the items he had won from the magic gacha were invaluable in his battles against the forces of darkness. With his powerful new weapons and equipment, he was able to defeat enemies that had once seemed unbeatable. However, as Link continued to play the magic gacha, he began to notice that it was draining his rupees faster than he had anticipated. He soon realized that the shopkeeper was using magic to manipulate the game, making it more difficult for him to win and causing him to spend more and more rupees. Feeling tricked and cheated, Link confronted the shopkeeper, demanding that he stop manipulating the game. The shopkeeper refused, revealing that he was actually a powerful wizard who had been using the game to gather magical energy for his own nefarious... purposes. With no other choice, Link engaged the wizard in a fierce battle using the weapons and item he had won from the magic gacha to defeat him. In the end, Link emerged victorious, having put an end to the wizard's evil scheme and saved the kingdom of Hyrule from certain doom. After his adventure, Link learned an important lesson about the dangers of temptation and the importance of using his resources wisely. He vowed never again to be lured into the false promise of easy rewards again and instead focused on using his skills and abilities to overcome challenges on his own. <laughs> I like the part where it's just like realize that the shopkeeper was manipulating the odds, which is exactly what is happening here. <laughs> Every time I win, this dude is like making the odds of winning less. Uh, I can generate another one if you want. Let me know. Or I can put like another... Another related prompt. I thought that was pretty appropriate given the context right now. I mean, that story definitely had a... Like, there was a moral to it. Don't go with easy prizes. You never know what you'll be fueling in the background.
I like the twist. <laughs> the store owner is a wizard and is biding his time. Nothing is free, yeah. Some things will only cost your soul. <laughs> uh. I mean, there's the old saying as well, like... If something is free, more often than not, you're the product. Imagine if Nintendo released this game in this era. It would be like, scan your amiibo. Once you scan all 130 amiibo, you get a heart piece. That's, that's not a good one. How many shells do I have? Okay. Just a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We're getting there. Five remain. Well, the last ones have zero percent chance. No, once I get, once I get to about sixteen, then I'll start betting. Like, I mean, even now I could probably do this. I mean, this is still, like, roughly 1 in 5, so we're okay. See? <laughs> okay, 24 remain. That one was you. But yeah, I hope that nothing going forward has something like this. I think this is definitely the worst heart piece I've ever had to earn. I've never had to earn one this this bad. We're up to 
Okay, 22. We're nearly there. I'll start increasing the, the amount soon. Although I guess I kind of miscalculated how much it's going to cost. It's like some of them will start costing 80. Okay, 21. I've had some pretty good luck with these low percent ones. I thought it would be more of a grind at this point. <laughs> yes, I, I, it's already a grind, but like this, I, I expect that even more of a grind. Also missed the comment about like the video being sponsored by a gray pig. This video is sponsored by patience and the human spirit to just be able to persevere and achieve your goals. That's what it's sponsored by. Also stubbornness to some degree, but wholesome well yeah i mean it's a bit of both it's like perseverance but also stubbornness in a child screaming saying no you have to complete this i'm kind of we're past the point of no return is that 20 now hang on one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we're down to twenty. Okay. I'm going to spend 300 rupees on this one. This is a 300 rupee roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my three. <laughs> gonna go get. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the shells. That was a 300 rupee gamble. I can't believe this, like, this is just insane. <laughs> oh. Didn't know Zelda had Funko Pops. Jup, this is actually the worst. <laughs> if you've never pl have you played this game before? Let me, let, let me break down my situation currently. There is one heart piece remaining to complete. Now, one heart piece to complete, all right? So you have this gacha game that has 130 figurines. Now, you start off with a high percentage of finding one that you don't have. Every time, of course, you roll, hey, it's going to lower those odds. Now, if I, I have... A currency called shells, which I can hold a thousand of at any given point. Every time I increase by one, it increases the probability by one. Alright, so to get back to a 50% roll... 
<laughs> I have to spend 38 shells. So even at 38, there's still a 50-50 chance whether I get it or not. Or I could spend one and do 13%. So do I really believe that in... In 38 rolls, I won't succeed? I don't think so. Like, there's no incentive to spend more than one shell at any given point. <laughs> so, this is what I'm doing. Until I get to a point where I only have a few remaining, where then I'm covered by the number of shells I have, there's no point spending more than one. And my reward for collecting all 130 is the final heart piece. Time versus convenience, yes. I don't think this is well designed. So this has been the reality of this stream for like the last hour. Just feeding this machine. I did generate a chat GPT story about Link having an adventure involving a gacha game and it worked. But I'm nearly done. Once I get to about 16, 15, then I'll start purchasing them outright, and then we can put this to an end. And to purchase more shells, it costs 300 rupees, or you just go around the map and just find them naturally, but at this point, it's just... It's gonna take too long to do that. Every time I get a duplicate, I also earn 5 rupees. So really, one shell translates to five rupees. How easily do I get rupees? Not that easily. I mean, the chests... The chests that give me money, they're kind of scarce now. So I would have to... Go kill stuff and hope they drop fives. Like, I think to get 300 rupees, it would probably take me, like, half an hour. At this point. Give or take. There is a, a chicken minigame where I have to go herd chicken, and it gives me 110 every time I win. But that is... it is very janky, that minigame. And I feel like I would spend half an hour anyway trying to succeed three times. It sounds like Game Genie slash Action Replay. Well, the thing is, this is being done on hardware. It's not emulation. So those options are not available to me. And this is being done in the purest of ways. Those are physical devices that and probably still exist in eBay. Okay, let me put it this way. It's not something I can resolve now. It's like, I could go order one, but then it'll take a while to get here. And in that time, I could probably get this done. And I doubt something like this would pop up again. This is just... For whatever reason, I guess I'm just pointing out how, how bad this is. I thought this was going to be inconsequential when I first saw it. I'm like, okay, this is just kind of like the 900 Koroks in Breath of the Wild. It's just, you can do it if you want, but it doesn't really give you anything. It doesn't really give you anything, right? That's what I was thinking when I saw this. I'm like, okay, it's 130 collectibles. It seems like this is very tedious to do. Probably it's just something very minor. But no, there's a heart piece attached to this. <laughs> This is the second most tedious heart piece I've experienced in a Zelda game. The first one definitely goes to Oracle of Seasons and Ages. The one where you have to plant a nut as far away as you can from where you start, and then there's a random chance that the tree that grows will give you a, a heart piece. 
So it's like the process of getting a nut, then planting it, then waiting for it to grow the tree in hope that you maybe get it. I think we're almost at the point now, though, where I can just start buying them out, right? Once I get to about 15, I think then I can start more riskier gambles. Like, bring the odds to maybe 50 or 60%. Even still, it's, it's it's not bad yet. Even at 1 in 10, it's still... It's still possible. I think once I get below 1 in 10, that's where I need to start. Increasing the odds. <laughs> and then it's on to the final dungeon. I can beat this at last. Every hundred rolls, I get 500 rupees. <laughs> Which gives me 30 shells back. Ugh. Oh, they really should have made it one shell gives you 2% probability. Then this would be so much better. Then it would give you incentive. It's like you spend five shells, it gives you an extra 10% probability. And that would be worth it. It would be less mind numbing. I met that person. I don't remember a part where a ghost was haunting a man in bed. I might have to start mixing this with the chicken minigame, to be honest now. Because I think we're at the point where to get a new one, it's going to take a while. And at that point, I may as well try the chicken minigame. Get some money, and then we just dump the 30 that I'll get from the chicken minigame into the one roll. Because then it would bring it to 40%, and that's more bearable. Because by the time I do that many rolls, like, I, I could probably win at that chicken game three times. Alright, I'll tell you what. Whatever the next one is, that's what I'm gonna- I'm gonna dump 30 into it, and then we'll do the chicken minigame. 
And I'll win another 30 shells that way, and then we'll dump another- we'll dump 30 at a time. And then at least there's a break, and it's funny to watch me play that minigame at least, because it's, it's just- it's horrible. That one was unique. <laughs> Fifty hours later, stop. Ah, uh, I. It's funny how this has basically become a repeat of Wind Waker, where just this last heart piece is just tedious. Except, the difference is, I know where it is this time, it's just the process to get it is annoying. Or as in Wind Waker, it's just a wild goose chase for two hours. Okay, there, there's another one. Alright, alright, so I, this is what I said. Let's just count how many we're down to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. 13, 14. 15. So we're down to 15. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is, this is the optimal number that I was talking about. So now... I'm going to do spicy gambles. I'm going to get it to 75%, so 66. And I'm going to hate if this fails. Okay, that's a success. Down to 14. I just, I, I really want this done. Okay. I'm gonna do like a cheap one now. And by cheap, I mean 50-50 chance. Good. This might be the way to do it now, but let's just go. Good. It's working in my favor so far. Honestly surprised. Okay, there's a fail. I wonder if this is truly 50% or if it's altered. Like, if it does pseudo-random distribution. Or even, I don't know. It's 
Ooh, you don't like to see that. That's that's bad. But they kind of have to do this at this point. The, the odds are too low, otherwise. So I'm hoping doing 50-50 is the right way to go. That's a cool one. How many shells do I have left? Okay, still looking okay. And then how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 10, so I'm within budget. I'll probably have to go grind a little, but I am within the budget. Down to nine. Damn it, that's a fail. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go earn money, but that's okay. As long as I don't fail again. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. I put in a little extra as well, just... I was like, alright, I'll put 50 shells in. Dude! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this is not pseudo-random. Uh... Uh-oh. Well, this is bad. I can't believe it just failed that many in a row at a 50% chance. I'm doing a 55 roll. Okay, good. Yeah, chat, I'm gonna have to go grind money. At this point, I may as well do the 50, like, do 50 per roll. And then whatever the last one is, I'll just dump all it in. <laughs> Why is this so bad? Okay, you know what? Hold on. How many shell how many shells do I have left? I would have a hundred. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do a 30, and then I'm gonna dump the rest, whatever I have, into getting a guaranteed one. Cause it's still- that's still a 50-50, I'm just guaranteeing one of them. 
So I can either walk away with one or two. Okay. And now this one's a guaranteed win. I think that was the smarter way to do it here. I'm making this one guaranteed. Oh, crap. Alright, whatever. I'm going to be so upset if this, this doesn't win. Okay. <laughs> Unclench. <laughs> Capless Lank. As low and lank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven remaining. Seven remaining. Okay. I'll be back. Um... I'm gonna go around the map. Because the stuff that was pointed out... There's a golden creature there. Okay. Where else? Okay. Uh, we're going to the cemetery. There was a chest there. It could be shells. So let's go to the cemetery. Come. <laughs> I wish that was fast travel to the cemetery. That seems like a bit of an oversight. Anyway. Same as before, left. Same as the beginning, up. Right, and then up. Get the boomerang out. <sighs> Damn it. I was kind of hoping that would... That would have been um, something else, but nope. Okay, let's just check. Maybe one of these... are pushable. not can't dig all right weird
Alright, I guess that was it. I was hopeful that that chest would give me something, but nope. Just so I don't play the chicken game and lose my mind. <laughs> There's still some chests that appeared from the Kinstone Fusion, so... Oh! I just remembered something else. It's money related, and I, I put it aside. It's just, was it this one? One of the beanstalks still has money at the top because I had full rupees when I was there the first time. So hold on, let's just double check here. It's not this one. Then it's probably the... The one in... Which one? One of them has it. I'll... I'll figure it out. There we go. There's some money. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's 30. How many shells did that get me? One. All right. Okay, let's look on the map where else. It might be that beanstalk. cursed when it comes to Zelda games. <laughs> the curse of the final heart piece. It's like four games in a row this has happened. I still haven't found the one that, um, fixes that. Let me just check it's not something simple like... You? No? Okay. Just double checking. You never know. Yeah. That was that was definitely worth it. Okay, uh let me look. See with these I'm kinda of surprised it's still pointing it out. Because I have been in there. Oh, 
I'm not sure there's any other spots that I've, uh, overlooked. Like, I I've been pretty on top of things. Alright, that'll do. I'll go back to town. There's one thing we can try a hand at. It's more RNG, but it's like... The money doubling game. But honestly, I think this is probably the better idea. I just gotta get good at it, that's all. Or it's just gotta stop being a dick. Yeah, oh yeah, glitch into the fence. Yeah, good, good. And the other one's just gone. No. This is the problem with this game. Like, yes, it gets me 110 rupees if I succeed, but like... I hate what this has become. so annoying. They make roll and throw the same button. <laughs> I don't have it, obviously. I think this is just the fact that because this is Game Boy, there's two buttons missing that they could have allocated to pick up but as well as the hitbox to pick up the chicken is ridiculously small for some reason like I was standing directly on top of it there and yeah <laughs> oh thought it, I thought I was gonna eat it Okay, I got it. Oh, it's 110 rupees, please. I'll do it again. So this will get me 60 shots. <laughs> I hate what this has become. I can't think of a quicker way to earn money. Other than... Ah! I can't restart. Oh, no, there you go. That resets it. Alright. If I mess up, there we go. But I don't have to lay it out the full time. Like, if I get really good at this... Huge if. If I do... That's over... That's, that's pretty good. In terms of money making. Oh 
I don't want to hear it. Hard drive. Why? 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 Wait, chat, are you watching? I, there's no way I'm making this one. <laughs> Why did it run to the left? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Pick up the sign. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Where'd the other one go? Nah, this is done. Still headed in the right direction. No! <laughs> Why does it run away like that? I think the thing that irritates me the most about this minigame isn't the fact that the chickens run away. It's that... The hitbox to pick them up is so small and precise that a lot of the times I'll just either miss and stab forward or I'll just roll past them. That's the thing that's the most frustrating about this. If it weren't for that, I could deal with it. I can deal with the chicken's erratic movement. It's just... I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again. This one's already lost. But even still, this is the fastest way to amount money, I feel like. Yep, get, keep getting in my way. Just move in the general direction where my character's moving. Like, who does that as a person, honestly? You see a small child struggling, chasing chickens, and you're not like, oh no, let me get out of the way. Let me walk up and down and get in their way. It really looks like they must clearly be in front of you, but clearly roughly on the edge. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is it's more precise than it needs to be. I understand. It's just when you're in a rush. 
And then that happens. Then the chicken just continues running. <laughs> that made me feel a little bit better. Oh yeah, and you can't... Get this. If I use the boomerang to stun them, I can't pick them up. Dude. So you can't even be clever about it and use the boomerang. Which... It's not something you get right away, like, you have to purchase the boomerang. This is still doable. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay, here's the thing, chat. My dear chat. <laughs> it gets, this gets me 60 shells. In the grand scheme of things. So what do you think I should... How does theft work in this game? Uh, it doesn't. It's not allowed. You're stopped. It's not like, uh... Link's Awakening. I have one or two options here, chat. What do you think is better? Grinding 600 rupees to have a stronger chance of finishing it? So, I grind 600 rupees at a time. Okay. I grind 600 rupees to make it 64%. Or, I still go with the 50-50. So I spent 50, well, 45, 40, what would you do 50-50? I still, I can't do two rolls. Even with this, I can't do two rolls. I can only do one. What's, like, what's better? Or should I just do one percenters now and say fuck it? No, but that's four percent. There's no way. Like, at that low. Or do seven at ten percent. Consider giving a shell out the time. Yeah, but it's like, it's a four percent chance, which is, it's extremely low. That's the problem, is like... The odds of me getting one successfully. And the other thing is the interest of time. I don't want to be here forever. The game was already screwing me at 50-50. Now I understand. Ugh, fuck. This, this is the- this is single-handedly the worst heart piece now, I think. I think it's taken that award. This has to be the worst heart piece I've ever had to earn in, in a Zelda game. Oh my god. I just got it at a 1%. I just got it on- I just got it on a 1. Alright, how many remain? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
I just spent one shell on that one. We're at a 3% chance now. <laughs> No, this is definitely someone, like, who knows math and can do... Are you kidding me? I just did two back-to-back. -back. I got a 4% and a 3%. And before I failed how many 50% in a row? This is my- this is my luck. In a nutshell right here. I just have such chaotic luck. Like, when I'm actively looking for something, when I think something's not going to happen, it happens. I've been doing 1% rolls for the record most of the night. It's just the last few ones I wanted to try and get it done quicker. But I've been sitting, I've been sitting here. Doing 1% rolls for like an hour. Well, not 1% rolls, but like one shell rolls. I've done one shell rolls for like 96% of the time. Problem is, this conversation just takes so long to do. <laughs> just to roll it once. <laughs> I wish you could do 10 rolls at once or something and then just show your 10 rewards, but like the animation that has to play out, the conversation. Damn, I thought that was a new one. I was like, ooh. I honestly think it's a miracle people have watched as far as they have. Have I tried rolling under the influence of drugs and alcohol? No, because that would be a TOS. I mean, maybe spicy water. I hear spicy water is good. And, um, oregano? Oregano is pretty tasty. Not that I like oregano. No, it's not. You stream drunk and high, not simultaneously. I believe the way it's phrased is as long as it's legal, where you are, it's fine, but there is, like, something about... about it. The trick is nobody knows at the time. Okay, that is fair. If no one knows, then you would get away with it. I suppose it's easier when you don't do cam, but, like... There is a- there is a rule about it. Particularly when it comes to, uh, smoking weed that's like you can only do it if it's legal where you are it's not illegal if you don't get caught <laughs> that's like um like an existential thing if a tree falls down in the woods type shit
You can certainly turn this into a drinking game, but that just wouldn't, like... It would have to be for failing a high percentage odd. Like, there's no way you can do it for every roll. That's it's just insane at this point. Or every time you see a particular one, like... I've noticed there are a few that seem to appear constantly. I love how now <laughs> these these rolls aren't working. <laughs> the moment I've like focused on, oh okay, this was working. Now it's not working. We haven't seen a success since those back to back two, which I guess makes sense. You're talking about odds, right? Like it makes sense because it's gonna average out. Like okay, really. Let's look at it this way. I, I earned 60 shells, right? So like really, I, with these 60 shells, if it's at odd, I should win like about two. Give or take. Roughly. If, if I'm doing it correctly in my head. Maybe three, I might be wrong. It's odds in a GBA game, nowhere near decent random. No, it's, it's, yeah. It's like, there's no pseudo random in it that tries to make it like tr a true random. So that's the thing. It's both good and bad. It's good in the sense that small odds can sometimes win, but then it's bad in the sense that lot, like good odds can fail. <laughs> And fail repeatedly. It's like a, it's a double-edged sword. Take it, I finished the rest of the game. I have, yes. This is the last heart piece, and then pretty much immediately I just go to the the last dungeon and beat it. That's it. Everything else is done. Oh, it's set bigger on, which I'm guessing once I complete all heart containers, I can get whatever he's gonna give me. But that's on the way, so yeah. It's my own fault because I should have checked this right away. I just kind of made the assumption, oh no, this is very tedious. This is probably nothing. It's not going to get me anything that's worth grinding it. But, uh, nope. <laughs> it's a heart piece. It's a heart piece that's going to take you multiple hours to do. Is there something called a Picolite that I'm aware of? No. I don't think I've done anything like that.
this is the Minish Cap. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me there's something else I missed. I mean, probably. <laughs> I feel so defeated by this. So, series of craftable items that boost finding specific items. Does it count? Yeah, but I guess... This isn't technically finding an item, though. Like, I would imagine that would have been useful in the sense of, like, me slashing trees down and finding... Um... Like, shells naturally. Which probably would have been useful if I was playing through the game and, uh, like, doing this as I went, right? Because I think that's what's supposed to happen. Like, you're supposed to do this as you go and spend large amounts of- large amounts of shells, so doing, like, bigger gambles, but then replenishing your shells as your adventure. It's just, it's so tedious. I don't think anyone would think that this had a heart piece behind it. Like, this just screams Korok to me. Like, oh, 900 Koroks, you get a golden turd. Ima imagine if the 900 Koroks in Breath of the Wild got you a heart container. Like, how annoying that would be or something like that. Googling around how to get shells the fastest. I, I believe that is the way to get them through natural gameplay, but in one in one lump sum, I guess is is the is the the key thing here, because we don't want to go and spend like I don't know an hour to grind up a thousand, or do we? Okay, there's there's one. Do we do we want to spend an hour to grind up a thousand? I mean. If I did that, this would probably be done. Do I have the special spin attack? Yes, it's this one here. I mean, I suppose if I did grind a thousand at this point, like, I could just straight up buy some of them. To buy one, it would cost, uh, uh, let's just say it cost a hundred shells to buy one. So if I could somehow get... Hang on. One, two, three, four. So if I get 400 shells, that's it. Pick a light, and then you use shell discovery. Yeah, that might be worth doing. How many shells do I have? I have 30. Alright, let me go through this 30, and then we'll do... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. This is probably mis misguided. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now it's 200, right? Or 300. One. Two. Three. Okay. So if I get 300 shells. Alright, let's look into this pick a light thing. Um... Pickalite is made from Pico Blooms by a Minish in Minish Village. Pico Blooms. Oh. Okay, see, that's probably why I missed it, because I guess I never went back to that building. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I know exactly where it's talking about. But I collect 300 shells, then it's over. It's just, let's just see how quick it happens. Hold on. This could also give me shells. Potentially. Where is this? Inside the village somewhere. A bomb that only went off when you wanted. Oh right, there were remote bombs. Okay. Well, I guess there's, there's another thing that I didn't get. Your understanding is cutting grass with the Horace Cane Spin. Okay, I'll go have a look. If they have a picture of it. No, 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 stop it. Oh, it's over there. Okay. I mean, I'm still gonna talk to these ones. Just in case. I mean, never know. One of them might offer a kinstone merge and then... That's another possibility, is I just get some through that. Okay, this is the one. Yeah. We're doing cutting edge trees on a pickle. You see that plant with the little bud? Okay. But, I need milk. Okay. I'll be back. I mean, at least this is something. I, I get to kind of take a mental break from that. So it's this minute shell. I mean, I'm not shooting for a hundred, hundred percent, but like, I will go check that out. I want all the heart pieces. That's it, and then my inner child is happy. Oh, it's a trade. Sure, let's just do it. Okay. Alright, I'll go get the milk. Ugh, now this is a problem. The milk is going to cost me a hundred. Okay, before, before we do this, because I looked, um... This... This thing is going to cost 200 rupees. Your inner child is probably irreparably damaged. <laughs> Your inner child drank gasoline. Okay, look, like... Still. Okay. 
Okay. I have to do the chicken game one more time. Or however many times it takes to win, because I need to purchase the milk and still have 200 rupees left. Oh. Pick it up! <laughs> what did the, what did the other one? Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Dark. <laughs> okay. 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 Got it. Ugh. <laughs> First cry. Okay, cool. That covers my milk cost. You're so not interested in going to work right now. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking a mental day off, but like, if it's just a, a laziness thing, then... Hopefully I have a suitable poultry dinner after this. Maybe tomorrow. I mean, it, it is past midnight here. But, you know, don't you worry. Like, I eat a lot of chicken. <laughs> a ridiculous amount. Don't have to worry about me when it comes to chicken. Tomorrow, you gotta hurry up and get a cover letter together for the place. I'm most immediately interested in working. I need to reply to one to two other places. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, someone once told me that you should always be applying for jobs. In general. Like, even if you have one, like, it doesn't hurt to apply and try and get something better at any given point. Unless it's something where, you know, you've found your calling and it's your passion job or whatever, that's a completely different story. But if it's, like, something that you're just doing for money, just to get by, then it's like, always be looking. Yes. Yes. In your industry, it's never worth sticking around more than one to two years. Never pays off. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. Okay, hopefully... Just, what do you mean? Define the concept of later. Sandy, if you don't feel like going, just... I'm sh hopefully no one... You know, watches me and... Can confirm, but just say like you have gastro or something. That's something that... It's highly contagious. And... Just... Disappears pretty quickly, so you can be fine the next day. Just uh, say something that will warrant no further questions, basically. You're an idiot though, five plus years at two places in the last ten years. Or at another, kept telling yourself you'd use the this is Blair time to improve yourself in a stable job. Yeah, I mean... It's only human, man. Like, don't feel too bad. Oh 
Okay, so... Wait, was that... My phone? No, the last time my phone went off was like an hour. Which... Ha! Huh, was Discord. Okay, people sharing food. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. When it comes to work, I've, I've been at my job for a very long time. But I guess my whole thing is like it was... It's something that I kind of want to see through to the end. Whatever that means or entails. But I guess the plus side is like in Australia you get the concept of long service leave. So like... When you're at a company for a certain amount of time, then you get a special kind of leave that they have to pay out if you quit, so... And that just keeps accumulating. So, you know, I'm, I'm good. Like, job's good, flexible. Does it use my creativity and the stuff that I studied to the fullest? Not really, but... No, it lets me do stuff like this on the side and comfortably and I don't have to stress, so that's enough for me for now. With that being said, like I do, I've been feeling lately wanting to try and build something, whatever, I don't know. Okay, so cool, the Pico Bloom is like a no-go. It says to come back later. I tried exiting the Minish village and coming back, it didn't seem to happen, so I guess... Let me go play the chicken game. Why not? <laughs> we got time to kill. The initiative you were looking forward to got cancelled. Would have been six to nine work, months of challenging, interesting, fun work. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely can understand that. I had a couple of things that I was looking forward to kind of just not work out in the end. Your current job isn't super demanding hours. Wise and vaguely has decent pay, decent benefits, but it's soul-crushingly boring and unfulfilling. I guess that's the thing is like, don't let work just be the only time you spend, I guess. I don't know. I guess the super demanding hours kind of makes it hard to do anything afterwards, but... Maybe that might just be it, it's just like... It's okay to have something that's soul-crushingly boring as just a way to get by, but... By all means, like, make sure... You have time for yourself to do something that feeds your soul. <laughs> Whatever that might be. I mean... I'm not saying what I do is soul-crushingly boring, that's not it at all. But, in the context of, like, I guess what I studied, it's like, yeah, it's not the most exciting of things, right? It's like, at the end of the day, I, I work on something that's just not creative. But I, I use my creativity in other outlets, like this. I play games, I try to make things interesting, and then... I do video editing and stuff around it. It just takes up too much of your day for how little of the rest of the day you can use to enjoy yourself. Yeah, I, c I can understand that. I keep doing the wrong thing. Hang on, I need to focus. Wait, while I'm in here, do you have a... No. Like, I kind of wanted to mess around with game development, but I just haven't made time for it. Just... <sighs> Not to go down that topic, because, you know, I do like... What I have here as being, like, a form of escapism to some degree. Like, kind of kick back and chill and play games and just... 
Loth at my expense. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, COVID kind of fucked me in multiple ways, if you'll excuse the language. Just from like a motivation and just certain things I wanted to kind of work out but didn't because basically went into a state of like uh what was it? it was like 260 days of lockdown across six different lockdowns the longest one being five months so five months of me not being able to leave the house unless it was to go shopping and even to go shopping you could only go within uh like one mile radius or five kilometer radius if i'm converting it to metric i hope i did the conversion right so you know that that does stuff to a person when it comes to motivation you could have a very steadfast mind but like at a certain point it does get a little depressing and really i guess there was just this fear that, oh no, if I start something now, you know, another lockdown will happen and then I'll just, I'll feel bad that I'm not doing what I need to do. So, really it's only been like the last, not even a year, since it's kind of been like, okay, yeah, it looks like things are gonna remain open and we're gonna be okay, we can do stuff now again. So, I'm still recovering from all that and I guess I just haven't got into a place where I can put my energy into something, aside from what I'm already doing. Oh crap. You're more or less of a hermit so COVID didn't hurt so much. If you get sick you're screwed though. Right. Yeah, I mean, just as long as, I guess, you have the desire to want to do things and you're just working towards them slowly, that's all you can really ask of yourself and just focus on things you can control at the end of the day and take little wins. This picking up thing is just like... You want to live somewhere with people who make it worth your time to get out and do stuff, but all your friends are in other states and countries. Yeah. It's never any good. And having too much stuff to do, tons of video editing, tool dev overlay, etc. Yeah. I definitely have- I'm definitely guilty of that as well. Like, I have a lot of stuff I want to do. But one thing I've been doing lately is just... I'm not streaming on Tuesdays, and I'm just... Kind of taking that as a time to, one, reset for the week, but also... Just spend time doing... Content. And outside of the stuff that I've been normally doing, just... Something where I'm being a bit more creative as opposed to just stitching together clips. <sighs> this game. Oh wait, I think I got it. Alright, that's 110 rupees, thank you. Okay. I feel like I should go check now, let's just... I don't know what the the specifics are of this, but I uh, I've left and I'm gonna come back and hopefully now it'll let me purchase that thing. Doing cable management today. Oh, good luck. I mean, that's one of those things that's time consuming, but it is. 
It's satisfying once everything is done and is neat at the end. But it does require quite a bit. <laughs> What? It hasn't bloomed yet. How do these work? Oh, no. This is, um, this is based on distance traveled. This is based on, on distance traveled. So... Pretty much the way I understand it is like... On average it takes... The time it takes to walk... To the mountains from here. Without teleporting. Which I guess at that point I may as well play the chicken game a couple times. And earn some shells that way. It's like... I, I hate what this has become. I really do. I'm so self-conscious of this later, it's just... Who's gonna watch me for like, three hours just trying to get one heart piece? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same as Wind Waker. This happened in Wind Waker. Except in Wind Waker, I didn't know where the heart piece was. This one, I know where it is. It's just... The process to get it is just so annoying. I'm not sure which is worse, like, not knowing and at least exploring a map. Or knowing, but then the process to get it is just horrendous. Don't you dare, don't you dare run away! Why, why? Why is sometimes this chicken just... Eternally I could do some creative editing and I'm posting all to YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I would love to do that, but there's only so much time in the day. And I've kind of realized that. There's so much I want to do around content, but I just can't. Juggling a full-time job. So, like, I'd rather... I've just been posting raw VODs and it's like... I'll just attach a timestamp and be like, all right, listen, if you want to skip the madness of Will playing the chicken game for like two hours, then just jump to here. And then focusing on just doing more creative content, which I'm slowly working through. That's something that, you know, I'm trying to do better this year. Just not feeling like I need to fix things and just be like, look, this it is what it is, this is what happened, but this is what you need to do if you want to skip it. And just put my attention into things that I feel like will make me happier from a content production point of view. As opposed to just, okay, this is, this is tedious and I'm just doing this purely so people don't have to sit through and... <laughs> Ah, <sighs> okay. You've been trying to figure out ways to speed up editing tools to auto cut proxy videos. Okay. And you also hired an editor. Hiring an editor definitely helps. But for me, this is like hobby levels of things, right? Like, I'm not at a point where I can justify being like, oh no, I should put money into this. Like, no. But I guess my approach is like, instead of trying to put a lot of energy into fixing something that is kind of mundane to watch anyway, I'd rather put that energy into thinking of something creative to watch. Like for the Stardew Valley thing that I played, um, you know, my friend Kat suggested to do like a cut of the hundred days I spent in the game. 
and just kind of do it like a diary thing and just then it kind of shows the slow progression of my farm which ended up looking good ultimately because i did go to the extent of making the whole thing look nice but i've also been considering doing like a very short video kind of putting my thoughts on games that i play i guess whether or not that sees any success, it doesn't matter. It's just, like, at least it's something different and not just me going, okay, let me shorten this bit of content, or let me just take the, tw the clips from Twitch and just put them together. Like, it just seems... It's something that I'd, I'd get tired of eventually. Whereas in with this, it's like, it's... It involves planning, it's a bit more creative. So... Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to make this year work. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to do it. Chicken! Stop! I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I might, I might still be able to get this. Okay. <sighs> You're mostly doing it out of curiosity to see whether that slow growth will go anywhere. It's sort of very slow. Yeah, tell me about it. But that's just the reality of... Uh, of streaming. There's just so much content around these days. It's just It's a lot harder to grow than it used to be. Some of the edited content on your channel is chopping up various rambles you go on while playing games. Some of it is talking about game dev, the old Dark Souls community, YouTube intros, obscure indie games. Yeah. See, I guess that that's the kind of stuff I want to do, but like, in a, in a less... Oh, it's just happening during gameplay, so I have to go search for it. It's more just, uh, okay, this is what it's going to be from the get-go. How'd I get this far that quickly? This is quickly? <laughs> is it? Oh, if you only- if you only knew. I'm grinding money to grind shells to be able to get the final heart piece! <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Ugh, I don't even want to talk about the process, but yeah, hey Archie. This is the worst heart piece in any, any Zelda game, like I've decided it now. This, I, I cannot believe how horrendous this is. The chicken's gone, no, I'm not getting this. I've gotten better at this. It's just still a bit of a wild card how well, how well I do, because it there's too many variables here. I don't even know where that other chick. Oh, it's here! It's here! Pick it up! Pick it up! <laughs> okay, we're okay. I got it. Oh, alright, that's another 110. <laughs> Whoops. Do I get penalized for hitting the chickens? Okay. Let me... Puzzles are so annoying without hints. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, maybe because I grew up with Zelda 1. <laughs> like, in the grand scheme of things, compared to Zelda 1, nah, this is fine. I don't need hints. I got it.
But I mean, the hat gives you hints. If you press select. It does lead you in the right direction, more or less. And some of it is just like, if you play enough Zelda games, you'll know. That certain things do repeat themselves. Like, you can rely that certain things will reappear in other games. Okay. Please be ready. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I think I might have to give this Pico Bloom thing a miss, because I've... As good of an idea it was, in, in theory, it's just... It, it, it just doesn't bloom right away. Like, I have to spend a bunch of time wandering. The cloud area and the boss? Really? I thought the cloud area... The cloud dungeon was fun. That one... I got through it pretty seamlessly. It's okay. I mean, I appreciate the uh, suggestion either way, Jep. Like, it did... It, on paper, it sounds perfect. Honestly, it does. It's just... Unfortunately... Uh, I don't know. I'll try again, but... I think what I'm gonna have to do is, like, just... Okay. As bad as it sounds. You're curious if the west side of the village still has a decent drop right without the pickle light. Well, it might be worth looking into. I mean, the aim of the game here and now is like, if the pickle light would have worked, I would have just, I would have just grinded uh, 300 shells up, however long that would have taken. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be a reality. West area of the village. I wonder what it's referring to. And there's grass, you say. Here? Probably here. I think it's referring to here. Oh, I see. It's referring to here. Because there's easy, there's easy doors here. You can just reset this whole field. Yeah, it's here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This might still be worth pursuing, to be honest. Yeah. It is generating money. Okay, I think this is the way to go. I think you're right. With or without the pick -a light, it still seems decent. And if I can amass rupees as well, that also contributes to the shell. Alright. But good, good call. Plus no chickens. Yeah, I mean... For my own sanity, that's probably a good thing. For the entertainment value, like, I know people get a kick out of some of the sounds I make when I'm frustrated, so... Lawn Mower 2000. Yeah. No, this is this is definitely definitely worth it. I mean if I can generate 30 shells that quickly. Dude, that was three. 
I've, I, I just got five from that. Regarding getting YouTube running, etc., have I done Instagram, TikTok, etc.? Uh, so I've done TikTok, and okay, here's the thing I've gotten a couple of videos that have gone semi viral, but in terms of it translating over to like people coming over, uh, I don't think I've ever had anyone go, Oh, yeah, I saw your, your thing on TikTok. And coming from two posts that, like, got, like, about a hundred thousand a pop in terms of, uh, like, it, it just, yeah, it went semi-viral. I had, like, a, what, like, less than a hundred followers and it went to about 500 in about a month, if not less, just from two posts. But none of them really translated over here. Um, YouTube... Definitely there's been cross-pollination where I've had people coming over, seeing, um, like, VODs, or, uh, unedited VODs as well, like, uh, stuff that I haven't done. Anything to. Um, also shorts, and sometimes the edited content, so it's been a bit of everything. And even the live streams have been helping a little bit as well, like... Some people that have watched me live on YouTube have come across as well. Do I have any overlay? Uh, no, I mean, I like to keep it clean. The only thing I do is, like, in the BRB screens and the end screens, it just has a link to my website. And then, you know, when I do my closing, um, thing, I usually just say, oh yeah, if you wanna... Check out more of my content, you can find me on YouTube, that's what I usually say. But I do other stuff on the internet and just go here, and that's all I do, pretty much. Um... I've had people go check out my YouTube stuff just from saying that, but I... I guess because... For TikTok and Instagram, um, no. Because... I haven't... Yet seen... I guess... People from TikTok come over here. So I didn't feel like it was worth the effort. There's, there hasn't been a conversion yet, at least not to my knowledge. I mean, if, if anyone did come over from TikTok, let me know if you're watching this later or now, if, if you feel like it, but... How would they point over if I don't point them at me? Oh, you mean on TikTok and Instagram? Like, just... But see, that's the thing, like... Okay. The TikTok video, I, I started with TikToks that, um, had a link to my stream, right? So it was a clip, and then it pl uh, underneath the clip it had a link to my Twitch channel. All of those, all of those did not do well. The moment I removed that and just put the clip in full screen without any link, the video started doing a lot better. Like, by a factor of five. In, in most cases. And then a couple of them went viral. The moment I started doing that. Like, stopped doing that. I think the thing is, like, the moment you put URLs or whatever, people see it as an ad and they don't bother watching it. So the ones that... And I've heard the same thing, because, like, I kind of work in the semi-marketing sense. So I've heard the same thing as, like, make a TikTok, not an ad. That's the consensus. And then the other stuff should come naturally. That might explain why TikTok has been slow. You put an overlay on your stuff with general links. Yeah, that's what I was doing. And people just treat it like an ad. They don't look at it. So I've been doing a lot better on TikTok. Ever since I swapped to just, you know, letting the video be the video and not trying to advertise myself. I've gotten a lot more followers on TikTok, but they just don't translate over to people coming to the stream. One way I have heard that works, but um, I've heard there are caveats to it, is going live on TikTok. 
for a bit and doing a just chatting thing and then saying, oh, I'm going to play so-and-so on, on Twitch. I've heard that people have had success with that. But just videos in general, like, it's just amassing to, like, a TikTok following. Again, this is just grain of salt. This is just my experience so far. But yeah, that is that has been my experience. Is like the platform where there's been the most conversion is YouTube, for me. Um, I'll still probably keep going with TikTok just because I mean. Maybe eventually it might lead to some cross cross viewership. Maybe I don't know. But I mean, so far from like um, I I swapped to this new format from the start of the year, so it's been uh, yeah about three months. So so far the result has been yeah like um. The stuff that I put on TikTok is getting a little more traction on TikTok. But yeah, it's gone towards like the whole thing that I've been doing lately is just not stress about editing up clips and all that stuff in VODs and just focusing on stuff that is like original or creative and isn't just a clip of a stream because when it comes to gaming, there's basically two verticals. It's like you can either be someone that's good at a game or you can be someone that's funny. And that's basically it. And it's just everyone is more or less doing the same thing. They're putting clips of their gameplay and there's like a link to their Twitch and it's just everyone's doing the same shit. So it's like you don't really stand out. So the TikTok stuff that stood out for me was just something that was like a bit more opinionative with an opinion or like tutorial stuff tutorial stuff does pretty well informative works both harder by far it is yeah and i don't plan to stick to informative but You know, just having a mix of that, I think, is, is the is the key. Not just being, oh, I'm just going to put clips of my streams. You got a lot of people coming over from Elden Ring for the tools you write. Oh, yeah, that would, that would do well, especially if the community use them. By the way, I hope you chat, you, you're indulging me on this. I don't talk too much about streaming stuff, but since the topic is here, I'll, I'll just share my experiences. But I, I just want to say I'm no expert by any means. And I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a big streamer either. I guess I'm just going with what I feel like works for me. I mean, on the bright side, I got a hundred shells. <laughs> the streaming talk is always fun and interesting. Uh, if you're a streamer, I think so, yeah. I think streaming is a topic that, like, a lot of people... I mean, they, they can appreciate it and uh, they want to get into it, but then there are others that are just here just to kind of... watch me play a game. Or, like... Get annoyed at a game. <laughs> but not getting a heart piece in three hours. Um, I'm gonna go check if the uh Picolite is ready. Cause I just that's 200 rupees now, so I can afford it again. Lots of detailed viewers want wait, I'm being a little dyslexic here, it's past 1 a.m. <laughs> 
Um, they want details on behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, that's true. No, I mean, I always appreciate that, like, the people that watch me let me do my own thing. Um, whether that be from, like, a gameplay perspective or, like, a discussion perspective. Everyone's been really patient, and I do appreciate that about what I have here, as, like, I don't feel pressured to be, like, I need to do things a certain way. Or play a certain game. Gotta write up a video on streaming experience, have a lot of insight. Yeah, I think that that's definitely a, a topic that you could talk about in short form quite a bit. Just listening to this conversation while playing Genshin. Oh, what is is this? Do I mean, good or bad? Bad, good? What? I think every streamer has stories to tell, like stuff that they wish they could have done differently, or things that you know they felt like worked for them or didn't work. we go yellow hang on but which is the one that I how does this work now so hang on in order to grow yellow blue and orange pick a blooms link is asked to bring Lon Lon oh no 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 Okay, so in order to grow... Um, now I have to bring spring water. Um... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's the hot water. I think at this point... I mean, look. I have 111. Do I do I really believe like at the end of the day this is boosting my fine for 30 seconds at the end of the day now to boost it for 30 seconds do I really want to go get that spring water come back 111 individual rolls should do it but I don't want to do 111 I'd rather I would rather spend the time and get like 300 shells and just be done with it. It's gonna be the same amount of time. Alright, I'll do it. Also, hello Lucasson. <laughs> How's it going? How are you today? You certainly picked uh, the most fun stream to watch today. Although, that being said, we are talking about streaming and stuff, so you might find that interesting. I just caught up with the streamer awards. Oh, right. Yeah, that's on. How did- how did that wind up? Absolute cringe? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I kind of figured. I think with that, to even get nominated, it's pretty much just your community has to do it for you, and then the whole thing is just who has the louder community in terms of uh, amassing votes. So I don't know. It's not really on merit of, like, quality, you know? With your streams, you try to make sure there's something interesting to talk about during grindy garbage. Sometimes I can pull that off. Sometimes it's I'll talk about or show something random. Other times it could be just like the grindy garbage is annoying me that much that just hearing the sounds of frustration I'm making is enough to entertain people. Or sometimes, uh, yeah, like... 
some of my regulars will come in and say something that kind of derails me a little and I have to go down a rabbit hole. So, such as the random nature of it. <laughs> the wins and nominees weren't that bad, but the jokes and presentations were awkward. So like any award show where it was just like canned and scripted. You just need a viewer or two to help seed the conversation. You can blab, but you need a good start. Fair enough. I don't... I don't know. I don't try to get others to talk. I've never... I've never done that. Sometimes I'll, it'll be like, I'll just be here and I'll be talking to myself for ages and I'm fine with it. Bad at small talk. <laughs> so many jokes fell flat. Oh boy. Yeah. Force me make someone else talk. I saw s something on Twitter today. Um, the shed. I, f I forget who it is. It just came up in a recommended tab. But, um, someone received a DM from the moderator of another stream that was, and the message was, like, along the lines of, Hey, I noticed you're watching the stream. Feel free to talk. Kind of just calling out someone that was lurking and hadn't said anything. Yes. Okay. The pixel graphics look neat in this. Oh no, yeah, this is this is great. This is the Game Boy Advance one. So I do like the art style in this one. This one's really good. But I think my biggest complaint of this game is this final heart piece. It's just I think it's it's so poorly designed it's not funny. The other thing that me, as a streamer, I kind of have to struggle a little with is just my time zone at the end of the day. It's like... Ideally, I would like to stream in the evening my time. However, the evening my time means for North Americans, it's basically... That's the time where they're about to go to bed or have gone to bed. And then there's kind of like this period where it's quiet where, and there's nothing wrong with it, I'm not complaining, just kind of pointing out the reality of it. It's just like the night owls or people that have gotten up early, in the case of Europe. And then when things are starting to like, you know, become active, it's past midnight and at that point, if it's a weekday, I kind of have to consider going to bed. So it does make things a, a little bit more challenging. When it comes to like, you know, growing. <laughs> but, I mean, that's how I've been doing it for however many years I've been streaming for, and you know, it's not like I haven't gotten anywhere, it's just... A lot of Aussie streamers, they have to uh, choose between either staying up really late or getting up really early. And I'll point it out, for those wondering what I'm doing, okay. As a catch-up. There is a final heart piece. This final heart piece is in this mini-game. It's not even a mini-game, it's a gacha game. And you have to spend shells to earn these little statue things. There's 130 of them. Every time you win a unique one, the odds of finding a new one decrease. So you have to spend more shells to find a unique one. So, 
one shell increases your chances by 1%. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> to purchase shells, you purchase 30 for 300 rupees. But, uh... Through a little bit of research, thanks to the viewer Jerp here, was able to figure out that this field, uh, you can find them just by doing this. Pretty, pretty consistently. And there's this item that, or potion you can take to increase the odds of that. So I've been doing that on the side along with this. Gotta make advertisement, visit a lot of streamers, be nice. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... Some of that is, is definitely true, but the uh, element that... It kind of comes down to luck sometimes, and being at the right place at the right time. Like, I'm, I know I know streamers that fit that description to a T, but like... I personally feel like they should have... Uh, gotten further than they have but that's just it it's just, just so many people doing streaming um you'd be surprised like i'm sure it's different in 2023 but hang on let me see if i can find the number total number of streamers on twitch 2023 right so there are around 51,500 active twitch partners now, the Twitch partners are the ones that have considered to get a following high enough. But then... hang on. They have stats here. Eight point five million content creators. This is in 2021. So, you know, <laughs> that's the thing. It's a, a viewership is kind of divided among that. There's just not enough time to be able to watch all the content that uh, your content creators put out. Like, put it from this perspective. Let's say you follow five streamers. You follow five streamers, each of them streams for two hours a day. That's ten hours of content. Like, you're not going to be able to watch all of it, and I guess that's the thing. Like, it's impossible, so like... One of the things that grounds me is, like, if anyone spends half an hour, even half an hour in my stream, that's just, that's huge because it's, like, they're probably following a bunch of people. And if someone does more than that on a really consistent basis, then, man, that's, that's a big deal. But I guess that's the thing, is, like, ultimately, that's what you're up against, is, like, there's that many amount of people streaming nowadays. So, like, standing out in the crowd is hard, especially with Twitch running all their ads and stuff. Like, I was I was watching, um, you know, a few streams uh, last Tuesday when I wasn't streaming. And to have a conversation with a streamer, so I turned up, got shown an ad, that's like a minute gone, had to wait. The streamer was talking to me, we were having a conversation, and in that conversation, it got, that conversation got interrupted five times. For an ad and that's what viewers have to go through to discover a new streamer so obviously once they find a new streamer it's like there's less incentive to kind of go browse and find someone else unless you don't have anyone to watch so it's a thing of like if people have someone to watch during a particular time they probably won't stray that often and that's why growing is difficult at the moment, because it's just a numbers thing. It's... there's that many people streaming, so there's only... it just averages out at the end of the day. That's what I feel anyway. I'm not saying like this is fact, but just my hunch. So that's why you know, I'm, I'm highly appreciative of the regulars that I have. Especially the ones that have stuck around for a long time and will watch regardless of the game that I play. And, you know. 
in whatever capacity, it, it's it's just it's validating for sure. But I guess that's the thing is like if you feel like you you've been doing all the right things, like being friendly, um, doing the whole like networking thing, and things still aren't happening, it's you shouldn't feel bad that you're doing something the wrong way. That's just that's just it. It's of all the people streaming, does consider that. Let's let's look at the percentage, okay? So what I just said right now. There are so let's see it as a percentage. This is 2021, so this number is probably bigger. So there are 51,500 Twitch partners. Those are the ones that have made it to like the 75 average viewership and you know, that can sort of rely to do this as somewhat of a job to some degree. Maybe, maybe not. Out of eight five zero 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 zero. That's not that's not even one percent. It's less than one percent of the people that start well are streaming, according to this, make it to partner. So that's why I think like sometimes it's it's just it's luck. Meeting the right person, maybe playing the right game. Like that's the thing. So that's why I've never concerned myself too much of, like, doing things like advertising myself or, um, like, doing the whole raid thing. Because I could do all of that and it still might not end up in my favor. And I think just focusing on forming genuine connection with people has been my approach so far. As opposed to, like, treating it like LinkedIn. I don't know. Again, ramblings of someone that, like, just saying what I, I feel. But, of course, it's by no means, you know, the way to go. But, anyway. Is anyone tired of this conversation yet? Let me know. I can change the topic. I don't want to dishearten anyone or, like, you know, be seen as cynical, but that's just... Speaking from a numbers perspective is like, you just kind of have to... You have to stand out somehow. Like, they always say find your niche, and that's... That's definitely, uh, something you should do. More than just advertising yourself. How many shells do I have now? Alright, I mean... Now, you gotta know what you're in for, and if you're up to it, try hard. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things that it's it's going to be hard, and if you put the effort in and you're steadfast, you can get there. But don't feel too bad if you like if you're doing all the right things, but things aren't happening. It, that's just it. That's going to be the reality for the majority of people that stream. It's just because there's just so many people that are doing it now. And it's not its not a reflection of you, and it's not a reflection of the quality of what you're doing at all. It's just, at the end of the day, like, things are fed by algorithms, things are based on trends, and it's just, you can't predict these things. It's just, there's an element of luck. I think it's just being able to respond to opportunity. That's what you should be ready for. I could take the shells I have now and try to gamble because I don't have to make them 100% chance rolls like I could I could try and but I'm worried that like if I go on and say even 80% chance of getting the figurine imagine it just it doesn't give it to me <laughs> I'm going I'm going I'm going to be so annoyed that I'd rather I'd rather just you know what it is what it is. This is just what I have to do. Um, 
So what? If I purchase another 30, that gets me to 193. So I just have to get like another 100 shells. And then this will truly be over. So hang in there. Appreciate anyone that has stuck it out this long. Oh, well, how did this happen to me a second time? I thought, like, after Wind Waker and that wild goose chase with that heart piece, this would go smoother. <laughs> Doesn't Link get gizzy dizzy because you throw up? Nah. It's magic. Has a magical hat. Probably stops the dizziness. <laughs> I'm basically playing a, a lawn mowing sim. You know what, if this isn't like a, uh, a tale of caution when it comes to gacha games, I don't know what is, like... Consider what I have to go through to get what I want. Now apply that to any gacha game, except it involves real money. I'm just saying, chat. Must be a super magical hat. I mean, it is like a duck thing. I thought I was going to play Metroid today as well. No. This this is completely derailed. The stream. What do Kinstone pieces do? So... I don't think I'll be able to use them, but each of these... You get a piece, and then... You talk to people in town, and you can match the piece. And then something happens in the world. So like an example... Here, this used to be a lake. You know, I matched the kinstone piece, and then the lake drained. So, you know. You just talk to people, and you go, Hey, you want to match kinstone pieces? And if it's a match, then, uh, yeah. But now, I, I think I've done pretty much all of them. So, it's an endless supply of them. You can find them randomly. So I destroyed a lake, poor ecosystem. <laughs> I've done more than destroy a lake. I threw a chicken into a river multiple times accidentally. And the chicken uh, did not come back up for air, let's just say. <laughs> Ugh. I was kind of speechless the first time that happened. Okay. The chicken probably deserved it. I mean, if it's anything like the babies, there's a house you go into as, as, a, as a tiny being. And I was like, oh, I got inside this house. It took so much effort, but hey, this is probably going to be a heart piece. Nope, it's just a bunch of baby chickens that peck at you and hurt you and they kind of corner you and then you lose a lot of health and then that's it that's all the house is for there's there's nothing in that house What's the name of that game where you mow lawns? Is there- I know there's a game where you mow lawns and stuff and, uh... 
You fix up a house. What's it called? All I'm missing is the house. It's house flipper, isn't it? You have to clean up a rundown house. I feel like that's what I'm doing. Except there's no house. There's just a hole in the ground. I'll market it as like a, uh, a studio apartment. Deluxe studio apartment, you know, enough uh, living space for a kitchen, a bathroom, a bedroom, a living room, all in one convenient room, right? Um, and, you know, it doesn't let in pesky natural light because that's horrible. So I'll start the bidding at 1.5 million. If you stop eating your avocado toast, you might be able to afford this hole in the ground. What? You don't want a hole in the ground? Pfft, why are you so entitled for? Okay, so I have 220, technically. I mean, I think I don't need 100. I think I need 90-something each, so... I mean... I'm just saying I need 100, just to round it up. But really, it's like 290-something. Um... Yeah. Also, did you end up finishing uh, Outer Wilds, Liquorstone? I really wanted to watch, but like... <laughs> ah, just getting up early on a weekday. It's so difficult. Time zones! Yay, Australia being so inconvenient. Now I feel bad for how much time I wasted trying to find the correct kinstone piece when this is all I could have done. This field seems perfect to find everything you need. You're much more popular outside of NA time zones, but your chronic insomnia can suck at getting up early. Right. I've never been popular with Australians. <laughs> at any given point, like, I have Australian viewers, but... I mean, most of my viewership is, like, evenly split up between America and Europe. There's, like, a small handful of Australians that watch me. Very, very, very small. You're not done yet, you're so frustrated, you finally got to the place you wanted to, and then you fell off into the black hole. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I mean, that, that does happen. I think I know what you're talking about as well. If you could get up reliably at 6am and be ready to go by 7 to stream in 2 hours in the morning and get a lot of viewers. Yeah, I mean... I could do similar if I was to get up at like 6 as well, but that would be to get an American audience. But it's also that... That's the evening for Europeans. It's, I, I know why it's the ideal time. 
I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow, by the way, chat. Like, I want to get through these Zelda games. So tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Twilight Princess the majority of the day. That I have a day off tomorrow. It's uh, it's a public holiday here. So I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna have some breakfast, and then I'm gonna play Twilight Princess and do as much of that as I can in one day. That's my plan. Because, yeah, I need to get a move on. And that is one of the longer games. But also one of my favorites, so like, that's another reason why I want to play it. Not just to get it out of the way, but it's been a while and I really did enjoy that game. Which, I guess if I'm gonna do that, like, I need to hurry up with this, because it is late here. Jeez. It's at least satisfying to watch the destruction of the grass. I'm glad. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, chat, that you're, you're here. But man... I have okay, I have patience for doing this, you have patience for watching this. I could get chat GPT to generate another story. About Link's lawn mowing adventures. You know what? Let me do that. I did that earlier. Where is chat GPT? Okay. Uh, one sec. Here it is. Okay. Tell me a story about Link from The Legend of Zelda. And a magical lawn mower. Okay, hang on. I think I need to reload. Hold on. I think it just timed out. Okay, it's generating chat. <laughs> we're gonna- we're about to hear the untold story of, uh, The Legend of Zelda and the Magical Lawnmower. I'll put this on my other monitor so I can read it and still see chat. I don't know if this is gonna be any good. <laughs> what to do with channel points? Psst, uh, yes. Yes. I mean, you can make me do the Wario voice, like, once every half hour. But otherwise, the only real redeem I have is contribute to the DRB screen with like a message or something, pending approval. Okay, here's the story. Once upon a time, Link was traveling through the vast and magical land of Hyrule. He had been on a quest to save Princess Zelda from the evil clutches of Ganon, but he had been walking for days and was getting tired. As he trudged along, he came across an old farmer who was struggling to mow his fields with a rusty old lawnmower. The farmer was clearly having a bad time, and Link could see that the tall grass was making it difficult for the farmer to get around. Link felt sorry for the old man, and offered to help him mow the fields. The farmer gratefully accepted, and as Link began to push the lawnmower, he noticed something strange happening. As he moved the lawnmower through the tall grass, he could feel a strange energy building up. Suddenly, the blades of the mower began to grow, glow with a bright light, and Link could feel a surge of power coursing through his body. He realized that this was no ordinary lawnmower. It was a magical lawnmower that had been imbued with ancient Hylian magic. With the mower in his hands, Link felt like he could do anything. 
He quickly finished mowing the farmer's fields and thanked him for the opportunity to use such a powerful tool. The farmer simply smiled and said that he had known all along that the mower was special, but he was glad that Link had been able to harness its power. Feeling invigorated, Link continued on his quest to save Princess Zelda with the magical lawn mower by his side. He knew that he had the strength and the courage to face any challenge that came his way. In the end, Link defeated Ganon and saved Princess Zelda, but he never forgot the lesson he learned from the magical lawnmower. He knew that even the simplest of tools could be imbued with powerful magic, and that sometimes the greatest strength came from unexpected sources. <laughs> Felt like you could do anything sounds like you've heard that phrase over and over. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing with AI, it's like... At least in its current state, it kind of serves as a, as a starting point. There's no way you could take something like raw and use it, unless you want it to be funny. There you go, there's the story of Link and the Magical Lawnmower. <laughs> Average middle-aged suburban dads on early Sunday mornings, oh boy. I mean, I'm just trying to keep things interesting. Ugh. I'm just- I, I feel like the last four Zelda games I've played, I've just been cursed when it comes to the last heart piece. I've just had to go through some ordeal to get the final heart piece. I mean, even some of the ones they've been using to do, um, the AI TV shows, if you've seen them. Um, like, they- they did one for Seinfeld, where it's just AI-generated episodes of Seinfeld. And then there's another one where it's, um, doing... the steamed hams, uh, scene from The Simpsons. But obviously just, you know, replacing... uh, the objects and the things they're talking about, but more or less keeping the same format. And they do go to a lot of themes, like in the Seinfeld one, they mention, oh, let's try that new restaurant or new coffee place. There's just common things that just keep popping up. So it doesn't get very creative unless you tell it, oh no, also take this into account. You heard the Seinfeld one started denying the Holocaust or something. I did something whack and yeah, it got banned, so they had to... Uh, retool it to make sure it didn't go off the rails. It definitely did something it shouldn't have, so, you know. I'm not sure what it was, but it, yeah, the, uh, the account did get temporarily banned and they did retool it. Okay, chat, we're nearly done. All of the AI bots start getting really racist eventually. No, that is true. Especially the ones that accept uh, input from users, like... I think maybe that's like, uh... That's something that I feel like is comforting to know is like... Yeah, AI is scary in the sense of like... It replacing human creativity, but on the other hand, it doesn't take very long for humans to kind of make it do stupid shit, and then it just becomes useless. Kinstone pieces don't... <laughs> I have, like, all the Kinstone pieces I'll ever need, and more. Uh, hold on. Let me do the math. Okay, I, I can stop this. I just have to win the chicken game one more time. 
So let's just do the chicken game one more time, and then we have it. I'll just win the chicken game one more time. And it'll be more interesting and, I guess, funny if I mess up the chicken game. But that's it. I think we're good. I think we're good. Because <laughs> then I can purchase 60 shells and then we're done. Roll. Ugh. Damn. Look who got good at the chicken game. <laughs> Ten seconds to spare. Okay. There we go. Now, whoops, wrong room. That's it. <sighs> Journey's end. This, uh... Yeah, the store has made so much money off me. Okay, let's just see. 317, we're good. <laughs> let's put this madness to an end. And then I can go, how about I, I play the game, huh? Oh, this is hands down the worst thing I've had to do in a Zelda game ever. So, again, let's just let the gravity of this sink in. There are 130 of these figurines. You start off with high probability of getting a unique one. Eventually it wears down. For every shell that you spend, it increases it by one. So, you know, even if you spend 50 shells at this point, it's still a coin flip. And you could fail! You could fail that three times in a row, and there go 150 shells. So I had to spend one shell over and over and over again until I got it down to the point where it's like, okay. This was an exercise in patience. And a lesson in gotcha games. Wow, my friend, you just got in the last figurine in the machine, but I'll make some more. Please come- What do you- What do you mean, please come back again? What? No, 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 don't. No, 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 no. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You the what? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, come on, really? Oh. oh! What do you mean? <laughs> no. No! What? Alright, one, one sec. 
Minish Cap Lost Figurine. What is this? Um, oh no. Okay, what number is this figurine? I need number 22. Would you like to guess what I have to do? <laughs> this is this is hands down the worst thing I've had to do in a Zelda game. This is official. So the way the figurines work is some of them in particular, they'll only be available after you have either gone to an area or talked to a particular NPC. Now, there is one NPC that I haven't talked to, and that NPC only appears after I finish this! <laughs> Which, I was like, nah, it's gonna take too much time. Oh my god. But I have to finish this quest line, and then It'll give me the new figurine, and then we can get the heart piece, and then I can finish the game. I, I, I can't, I have to fin- I have to do it. I've put so much time into this that I, I can't say, nah, that's it, sorry. No, 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 I, I have to finish what I started. And I'm so sorry that, like, this happened in, in Wind Waker as well, like, I don't know what to say. I think I'm just cursed. <laughs> okay, so... From what I read about this... Um... The way... You get it to happen... It's all based on number of footsteps taken. So they sit Like, the guide says... Pretty much the time it takes... Walking on foot to the mountains is what you're looking at. Gotta head to bed, burn up since yesterday, and it's 9.45 night, otherwise you would've stayed up. Oh no, I appreciate that, Jep. Well, thanks for uh, the chat. It was, it was good, dude. And uh, also for trying to help. I appreciate that a lot. And the grass thing definitely cut down a lot of the time here that it would've taken to do this. No, that, that was, that was good. <laughs> But, I'm not done. Wait, this is the wrong thing. Where's the mountains? Ah, I'm so annoyed. Oh. Okay, so it said the time it takes to walk to Mount Cronell. Which, that's what it was. Also flowers, nah. Yeah, well. 
I'm gonna try my damnedest to make sure Twilight Princess goes smoothly. I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that we don't end up with another, another lengthy session just to get the last heart piece. I'm going to do my best. I, I would hate for it to happen again. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you, what? what? Let me read it again. How to get the Pico Bloom to bloom faster is to go from Minish Village all the way to Mount Crenel Base, where the mineral water is at, then go all the way- Oh, all the way back. Shit. I teleported. Okay. Yeah, you so you walk there and then you walk back. That's the distance you need to walk. Um... Ah. I've just evolved to just making s just noises. I mean, at this point, I feel like I should just hang out here because the thing is, I've been walking for a while. Right? It's not like I walked to the mountain immediately. I did the chicken game a few times, I was going on the field, so like, this shouldn't, in theory, have that much left before it's ready to bloom. In theory. But then again, I don't know if, if it's, if you're required to leave here or not. That's one thing I'm worried about. I'm I, I am I am just I'm at a loss. Watch this, Lace, you can pinpoint the exact second where his heart rips into. At this point, I'm just going to walk to the mountain again. <laughs> I'm just going to walk to the mountain again. How is everyone doing on this fine day? I hope you're all having a good day. And enjoying this, whatever this is. I've, I've just lost... I've lost the will to defend myself. I'm just walking. Ugh. Like, this is... This is, a, this is a walk of shame right here. Okay, I walk to the base. Well, I already walked there once. So that's my, my understanding of it is it's it's a distance thing. Or it may it might just even be based off number of areas loaded. There's just I don't know, there's no way to know. But I, I just read what it said. So the, for the next one. It should be the same distance. And I already done a bit of walking beforehand, so it's... Yeah, I guess we'll see. I'm not gonna roll, just in case there's like, a technicality that rolling doesn't count as a step. I just don't want to do that, I don't want to risk it. So let's just... We're gonna walk. Why is it not blue? <laughs> uh, 
What? <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind. <sighs> Just go there and back it. Ah! ah! What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it hasn't bloomed yet? I did what the I did what the wiki said. What to do? <laughs> it didn't progress it. I did the thing. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I might have to give up. But then again, I'm feeling the exact same way I did with Wind Waker, where I was like just on the verge of giving up. And then the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, can I? I'm, I'm just going to skip to the end result. I'm going to skip to the end result. This seems like good news. Hang on. Oh! Hello there, thanks for coming by. I sell all kinds of pick -a -light. Chat. 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 <laughs> Please. Ugh. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Congratulations, you've now collected all of the figurines I've made. We'll keep a good eye on all of your figurines in the case. Please come see me anytime. Okay, now. Thanks for coming. You seem to have won all the figurines I've made so far. Would you like to draw? No. Okay, now what? I know where it is, but now what? What? <laughs> Chat, listen. <laughs> it's here. It's right here. It's the, that's it. It's that. It's that dude's house. It's right there. I I've known where it is this entire time. It's just it just doesn't want to give it to me. I'm looking at the guide. What do I have to do? You did it! I can't believe you did! This is totally a complete set. How incredibly awesome. And you even got the legendary platinum medal. It shines a beautiful light. It's every collector's dream. What you've shown me here is just... it's just amazing. Here, feel free to go into my house and take whatever you want in, thanks. Cause you know, I'm rich. Let's go finish the game! Oh, that was so painful. Okay. Not tempting fate. I'm saving the game. Oh. We're done. Imagine if it crashed. Well, I mean, it's a cartridge, so it's, like, unlikely. But still. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
Let's get out of here. Thank you for uh, being so patient as I lost my mind once again, getting a heart piece. Now we enter the portion of the stream where I actually play the game and not grind stuff. And we can see a conclusion to this at last. Anyone that's stuck through... <laughs> That was that was three hours again. I, I can't believe it. Ugh. Okay, let's go. I don't know if there's anything to do here, but let's just... This music, though, is great. I think this is just a jail cell, so we've already done this. Just reminding myself... I guess just take this floor, but now... Okay. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to see anything. I don't- I don't want to see any- Wait, what's that? Okay, just checking, just checking. I'm kind of worried that some of these might drop keys if I murder them all. So let me just... Oh boy. Perhaps your sword could- Dude, don't- I was going to try that. Checking walls. Oh. Okay. This old thing. But there's a button here. Hmm. Okay. One thing this game is very stingy on is, is uh, hearts when you kill enemies. It doesn't seem to happen as often as other games. Good 
good work. Ah, oh. ooh. Ah, oh, I should have just kept going. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, there's a key. The thing is, most doors involve a key, so is this going to be a case of I just have to pick the right door? And it doesn't really matter? I would think that every single area ultimately ends up in a key. Oh! Chat, I forgot something. Sorry, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. This is important. <laughs> I just realized. Ugh, in my frustration slash relief, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. It's going to be quick. Don't worry. I, I I know where it is. And if it's a dead end, fine. I'll just leave it. But I'm pretty certain it won't be. Hey, buddy. What a tiny Goron you are, and you make Big Goron happy with this unexpected visit. And yes, if you should ever encounter me with feet, don't forget. Wait, major feet? What does he mean by major feet? Okay, hang on. Big Goron, uh, Minish Cap. One sec. Oh. Okay. It's okay. So I, I I looked it up. Um, we'll do it later. It's kind of I guess how this is gonna logically end. Sure. That is a, a little weird. So, unless I'm misinterpreting it, but um, it says I have to beat Vati. And that's the big feat, but it's like, okay, so it's after the game ends? So, let's just see. Maybe there's more to this than I think. So, let's just roll with it for now. But let's just assume it's gonna, it's gonna work out in the end, because of course it will. I just wanted to know what was going to happen there. Oops. Okay, so this is vertical. Wait, how are we going to do this? Oh, no, I see. Okay. Damn it. It's something like that. Except I guess I should be leading that. I think I've done it wrong again. Yeah, it's the other way around. Okay, hang on. Okay. 
Ah, oh, that's wrong. And then here, and uh, here, and I do this. I mean, I do like these puzzles. Oh, that's... I don't like this room. Wait, really? There's number two on the ground. Okay, I'm curious. Just a curiosity. Does it go through? No, it doesn't go through. I thought maybe two clones on here, but no. No idea. Alright, leave it for now. I didn't get a key from this, though. Oh, this is where we... Okay. I know where I am now. What if I feel like I've made a mistake in where I've gone? See, that, all that did was lead there. So hang on, there has to be something in that room. Hmm. this again. Oh god. According to this, there's nothing here. But see, I need a key to continue, so what gives? Hmm. I don't want to leave this area because uh, I don't want this to respawn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can is this possible? No, because there's only a lift option. I was going to maybe pull to... onto the rug. But... Yeah, I'm not sure that's it. Hmm. It's definitely a number. Now. 
I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Ah! Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I need to. Be, I need to be better. I only checked the middle. There we go. So it's it's like this, huh? Oh, crap. Okay, that, that does work pretty well. Is that a hint? Hang on, it's, I saw it move. How does this work? There we go. Didn't get both, but whatever. It's fine. Yes, please. Yes, please. Not that. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Oh, these aren't blocks. Okay. Ugh. What? I got the feeling I should try to get on here. Well, let's just... Is this even doable? No, what? No, I got them both. All right, whatever. It's not doable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a sec there. There's no jumping in this either, it's kind of just... Oh, what? Oh no! It affects all of us. Just gotta go fast.
Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to ever see another one of those wretched shells again. I don't want to see him. I have to check. Okay, just making sure. this interesting okay well you can't shoot arrows through this but it gave me arrows so I thought maybe just making sure that I can't push a block down here or something Okay, there's nothing to push. Wait, what? Not allowed? It's not allowed. A little strange, but sure. Okay, how did I, the way I dealt with these last time. In fact, this time it's going to be easier. I have these, so. Thank you, remote bombs. I think I'm okay for health. For now. Okay, let's not go that way. I don't have the big key yet, so... Oh! No, this is nice because I got remote bomb. This is perfect. I don't need to rely on those things or RNG. It's just bam. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't work? <laughs> what? Oh, come on. That's, that's, really? No, that is, I'm sorry. I don't accept that.
I can't, I can't believe that. <laughs> we're, we're on a platform. What do you mean? Silly question. Does this work? Like, I'm just gonna detonate. Nope. It doesn't work. Okay. Well, that's... That's a weird thing for that to do. How am I supposed to do this? They don't even go on the platform. What? What is this room? They don't even go on the platform. It, does, it doesn't work. You can't explode it mid-air. Uh... See, I thought maybe it would be just a case of... Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting something. Duh. Okay, kind of, but not really. I need to be quicker. There we go. Oh, that was the process. Do I need to do this again? No, good. Okay. Oh, it's closed. Okay, thank you. Very kind. Good room. Uh, okay. It's fine. Okay. I don't trust these dungeons, so I'm gonna do this as well. Okay. Just rolling that out. The attack is actually more useful than you would think. You can kind of force your way through. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, stop. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is... Wait, four keys? Really? I need four... Oh, I see. Each of these are going to give me a key. Okay. I see. This, shouldn't, this one shouldn't be too bad. Done. Easy. Key? Wait, no key? Okay. 
Okay, I was wrong. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I have to get rid of those. I have to get rid of these first. choice, do I? Okay, just making sure it wasn't a defeat everything type scenario. Nope, it's not. What? No, there has to be more to this. What am I missing? I don't... I mean, unless I shoot just in the distance, that sometimes works. There's something over there. Make sure that I'm not missing anything, but hmm. I didn't unlock anything new. What about? I guess there's nothing here of interest. Oh, but I can't push this back. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. No, but then... Down. There we go. Okay, we're fine. What was the point of this? anything that happened here? No. I thought maybe that switch might might have been the case instead. Like, maybe those buttons get rid of a, a lock. Hmm. No, I guess we're doing this. Okay, now it's fair. That attack is really useful. It makes those fights kind of trivial. Okay. Stop it. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, hang on. I need to wait for it to be like this, so then I can... There we go. Hmm. 
I thought maybe I would have to use Rock's cape, but we're okay. Huh? They're not pushable, so... Okay, there's a key. I guess. Yeah, okay. So it is just keys. So, three more. This is really gen uh, generous. <laughs> I don't have to worry about health, really. Oh, wait. I'm here now. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, but this is- no, but this is fine. This is gonna lead to this room now, which now there's a fight. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it's a quad layout. Guessing it's just this. This seems simple enough. Um. Shit. Okay. Hang on. Ah, stop it. I thought that would have done it, but I guess not. Maybe it's something more like this. Same thing, but just... More spread out? No. They have to be closer. Okay, hang on. They can't be close, like, that's as close as they get. The only other setup is this. Ah, uh, why does that happen? I still think this is probably the right one. It's just a bit wrong. Oh, okay. Got it. Nope. <laughs> Alright, that's two keys. Where does this go? go somewhere wrong. I'll still do this room just in case. I mean, maybe there's something to it. Use 
Excuse me. Ignore that. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. Okay, but now with this one. What does this do? Hmm. Would appear nothing. I guess that's what I was facing when I was facing the other way. Alright, well that's all the keys. Good room. I wonder if it's preparing me for something. Hmm. Chat, something just occurred to me. Does this game have light arrows? Because if so, then I don't have light arrows. Hmm. That's usually what you have to do to beat the game. I, ha I don't have light arrows. Just saying. It's uh, a complexity I did not think of. But I guess at this point it's fine to backtrack. Wait, I'm... Um, huh? I'm missing a key still? Okay, apparently I am. Where is here? No, I know where this is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hang on. I've missed the door. Where have I missed the door? There must be one that I haven't done. I mean... Okay, according to this, there's like a passage to the right. Yeah. 
No, but I've been out there. That, that goes outside. We don't want that. I mean, I did, I did just get two keys, so there is one missing. Okay. I mean, I guess this passageway didn't yield a key, so... Why not? This is the only passage that didn't give me a key, so... The answer's gotta be here. Just, just testing, just rolling out the obvious and the stupid. Wait, is this the same thing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Alright, all good. <laughs> well done. Okay, now we're good. I bet someone was like screaming. <laughs> okay. I mean, I figured it would have been there. I was just, hmm. I guess I just got blindsided. So let's just make sure, minish, cap, light, arrows, that they don't exist. Wait. There are light arrows in this game. But do they matter? Ooh, I don't know. I'm kind of worried because, yeah, light arrows typically are the way in the game. Okay, hang on. Um, I'm just looking at this guide real quick. Sorry, chat, that's like me looking for search. Okay, so to unlock, I, okay, here we go. Um, alright, here's the good news. The good news is, I have the teleporter to the boss, so it's like... 
I can feel this out and see if it's worth it, but otherwise, let's just see. can't do it. <laughs> They're inconsequential. I got an answer. They're inconsequential. They're inconsequential. Um, do you have to do this obscure quest to get it? And if you don't do it, then what ends up happening is, to put a long story short, there's a sick NPC that you have a limited time to get to. And if you don't get there in time, then the NPC dies and you can't get the light arrows anymore. Which is... okay. <laughs> I don't know. So the NPC is dead and I can't um, get the light arrows now as a result, which... I don't understand if it was a minor item, but the light arrows play such a huge role in this game. It's so weird. It's, it's considered the ultimate weapon, more or less. Like, that's how you beat Ganon. So, okay, I got my answer. I don't have to have them, and if I don't have them at this point, I won't get them. So, alright. False alarm. Haha, <laughs> you are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three chimes of the bell, and we'll bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I shall become like a god, and your precious Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold dead stone. There's no time. Quickly, Lank, to the roof. Did you hear that, Lank? Only... Ugh. This is scripted. Stop picking up kinstones. Stop picking up kinstones. <laughs> Treasure. Oh, yes. Okay, we're good on this one. Just like before, do it again. Stop touching me. Okay, this is more fair now. I mean, it's definitely, definitely scripted. Stop it! I'm trying to get behind them, but it's hard. Okay, there we go. One more. I love how careful it is now that it's a 1v1. That's kind of interesting. It has a more aggressive stance when they're, uh... When they're outnumbering me. Hmm. <laughs> Just a few moments and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, very well. I have not yet drained all of the light force housed in Princess Zelda. But what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed. Unstoppable. But let me first attend to the pesky worms who would trifle with me. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I will have no more of you interfering with my plans. 
Let me show you true power. You know what would be useful here for an eye? I don't know. Arrows made out of light, maybe? This is so cool, it's like a... Okay, it's like a more advanced version of the Zelda 1 enemy. position. Oh, crap. Oh, what a dick. Got him. Oh, the shield in now. Thought so. Good. All right, now. It's probably going to go back to this again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see that? I just, I got them all in one shot before they even had a chance to move. Okay, again. Yeah, nice. Okay, well that makes it easier. Stupid fire. Oof. It's not looking good. I'm not even done with the first phase. Shit. We're okay. Ooh, that- what? These fairies do nothing. That is not much of a res. That is way less than normal. Alright, this- this is bad news, chat. Fairies are, uh, yeah, not useful. Yeah.
Usually they replenish with like at least six containers. Why is it being so annoying? That's why. <laughs> well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery, but you will not survive this. Yeah, I'm not going to use my din potions. I am filled with power you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that puny sword will save you from me? Okay, one thing. Yeah, it's, it's about the same. I may as well do that already. Okay, I guess it's an arrow thing. the other way. I clicked on it. Maybe a little too late, but we'll see. I need to clean up the mess. Out of the way. This is a little frustrating because it's hanging. It's hanging out right there. Okay, there we go. Yep. No, this this is balls. This is like a different formation now. Got it.
keep focusing. <laughs> I don't have much health left. There's no leniency here, like there's no there's no heart that I'm gonna get from these things. Biz getting more aggressive. Nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad. <laughs> oh. What? What is this madness? I have the power of a god. I have unstoppable might. How can I lose to a child? Wait, did I win? You did it! Impressive! Now quickly, we must break the curse on Zelda. No phase three. I'm, I'm barely hanging in there. So, Lank, now that you have the power of the Four Sword, you must return Princess Zelda to normal. I guess we're okay. All right. Blank, thank you so much for saving me. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you as if in a dream. It looks like the curse has been broken. I'm glad it, we made it in time. No, the castle's collapsing! It's too dangerous here. Quickly, we must escape from the castle. Hmm, the door is blocked. We have no choice. Head back to the sanctuary. Okay. Alright, boomerang out. I think this might be a fake threat. Oh no. <laughs> you will not escape, boy. You will now see the true power of the Light Force, for I have become Vati, the master of this world. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, chat. My dear chat. <laughs> Usually I say I got things. I'm not sure I got this. Honestly, I was just dodging there. Oh no, this is this is terrible. Uh yeah, so I don't I don't got this. I'm screwed. I need to go get, uh, potions, because the fairies were absolutely useless. Bear with. That's fine. Yeah, I can't believe how little health they restored. Is her cabin? It's 
it's not here. Where is it? Oh, it's in Minish Woods. Yeah, okay, Minish Woods. Alright, just south of here. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say about that one. I also, ha I'm low on arrows again, but... Okay, here we are. What's the different... Yes. Alright, this is a full heal. Oh, no sample? Okay. I mean, okay, we can do this. It looks like these, these are set in stone. Or not. Wait, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about this. There's a room we can go to. I mean, I guess that's the nice thing, is there is a room I can go to. Ugh. I, don't, I think the first phase of Vati was like the one that kind of gave me the most grief. Wait, isn't it here? Ah, yep. This is the room I was looking for. Okay. All right. Now I know how this works, more or less. <laughs> the other thing is like... Yeah, this as well. It's just it's like, really? I guess take my time. I was rushing it, so let's just not... I want to pick it up. I mean, I don't have to rush here at all. not to lose his health here. Now that I look at this, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> I 
I mean, rooms designed to kind of just reduce your health as much as possible before the final boss is just a bit of an artificial difficulty. Okay, but, I mean, it's not too bad overall. Okay, let's go. Fight causes me more more problems than the second phase, honestly. The second phase is a bit easy. This is just annoying. Oh no, see I don't have to use arrows. Okay. That's my mistake. Okay, hold on. Really? That was, I mean, quicker, but not better. Alright. I mean, as long as I have potions. We should be okay. Hopefully. Sideways.
What? Why did it recover so quickly? Oh no. Select. Okay. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Shit. I think I should replenish arrows before I continue to the next phase. Be nice if I could heal. This felt like the end, especially because of the music playing. Ugh. But then when this happened, I was like, this is phase three. I could just chill. I could just tell. to make me oh oh no <laughs> there was a heal does it read it ah oh. Ah, 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 ah. Gee, this would have been useful. I'm replenishing my arrows. Okay, well, my bad. I don't know how many arrows I'm going to need, but I'm going to... Make sure that, you know, we have enough. It won't take long. It'll just... I'm leaving no room for error here. It's been a long road. It's almost over. Okay, we are set. Watch it for a little bit.
Okay. That's first item I'm gonna try. Thought so. This is weird though, but sure. Can I use... Yes, I can! Is this even working? I'm not sure that did anything. Okay. Didn't hit it. There we go. Get on it, Link. It's a difference here. Oh, that one. This one. Got it. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, no. This makes us spicier. There. Got it. Okay, now let's assume... Okay, I assumed incorrectly. Maybe it's a deflection. Yeah, I was right. It's not cause a liability. Got it. I think I might drink the potion once I do that again. Had to get out of the way. I was gonna get shocked. Okay. Oh. Is this permanent for now? If so, that's cool. Ah, oh, just missed. <laughs> that was like a tap. Full! I but the light force, my power, I had such power. Mm. Phase four? There's no way there's a phase four. It's a cap. Oh. 
Blank, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vati, you did well. But we've lost so much. The castle, all those people. Okay. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we win. What's happened? The curse? Defeating Vati broke the curse he cast upon me. My name is Ezlo, master of minish lore and sorcery. The mage's cap was my creation, but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for the humans. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen, and much of the castle has been destroyed, but it is too soon to give in to despair. My curse has been broken, and Zelda still possesses some of the light force. Perhaps together we can do something. If one with just a heart wears this cap, things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be known. Okay, it fixes everything. You'd have wished for cheesecake instead of <laughs> fixing a broken world or your home? Hey! Look, the castle, all the people who had been turned to stone, they're back to normal. Mm-hmm. The hat is breaking apart. It's overflowing with the power of life. The hat has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Vati's heart was filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, has created a miracle. Hmm, it looks like it's time for us to part has come. The Minish door opens but once in a hundred years, and it will close soon. I must return to my homeland soon. I know I've caused you much suffering. But the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Ank, my journey with you was exciting, to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. So please accept this. <laughs> it magically turns red. Heh. <laughs> you know... I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. It suits you, little hero. Take care. Farewell, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I tried to do like a tiny voice, but it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right. That's... The Minish Cap. <laughs> <sighs> I enjoyed this game. I do like it. It was fun. And I love the art style of it. However, once again, I, I just have to say that heart piece, dude. <laughs> it did not have to eat up that much of my time. But... You know, I do hope you enjoyed the playthrough, despite the last, I don't know, how many hours it was. Hunt it wasn't even hunting, it was grinding. But same thing, one heart piece, three hours, great. Okay, but that's another Zelda game completed, so. One step closer towards uh, Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, this one I, I only played once, and I guess it's, it, it was just such a long time ago that I, I maybe blocked out the fact that um, it was painful <laughs> for the heart piece. 
Or maybe I just never got it. I don't know. But there are a couple of Zelda games that I've only played once, and so my memory of them has been that long. It's kind of... It's not enough to go on to play and know what I'm doing. <sighs> anyway, the next one in line is uh, Twilight Princess, which I'm going to start on my day off, which is today. It's already started. I forgot why I never played it again. No, that's not it. Like, it's not that I hate the game. I love the game, right? It's just... You can have a game where you enjoy it, but there's a certain aspect of it that you don't like. Okay? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It was just one thing, but the rest of it I had fun throughout, you know? But yeah, I'll be starting Twilight Princess. Um, I'm gonna get some, some sleep first, and then I'll get up. I'll have some breakfast. And that's what I'm going to be doing all day on my day off. I'm going to progress Twilight Princess as much as I can. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know uh, time zones, how that's going to look for people. But in a few hours. I just I just need to get some sleep first. But we will do Twilight Princess all day today. Which is going to be fun. Because I, I truly do enjoy that one. And I only played it once. <laughs> so. Ugh. I will do my best to not let this happen again. Four Zelda... I don't want four Zelda games in a row to have one heart piece that just almost just destroys me mentally. Alright, as long as the, pir uh, the power of the light force echoes through the ages. Some, you know, just, yeah, we're fine. Um, there's one more thing. There's one more thing that we need to do before we wrap it up for the Minish Cap. One more thing. So just, just hang in there, chat. I should be- I'm saying that to myself as well. Really. So, it would appear that Din's charm is not a temporary thing, and I could have had this the entire time. And I only had it for like the last 15 seconds of the playthrough, so great. Awesome. I did well. I didn't use healing though, so I, I guess that's something. But I could have had this- I could have had this armor the whole time. Oh, oh, ugh. Oh wait, no, it is temporary. Okay, it's worn off. Alright. <laughs> it is temporary. <laughs> Never mind. It is temporary. We're okay. Then, okay, cool. I don't feel like an idiot. I, I would much rather that. I thought for a sec it was glitching because I rolled and then it started flickering green. But no, it it's just temporary. All right, what is this gonna be? I could have flown here, but I just want to walk. I guess let's do closing thoughts while as I'm doing this. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in today with this marathon stream, especially if you're new, and especially if you stuck through the gotcha madness. Um, I hope you did enjoy, despite that. <laughs> but. It had to be done to 100% the game, so yeah. Um, as I said, Twilight Princess in a few hours, but I need to get some sleep first. But in the meantime, if you do want to catch more of my content whilst I'm away, um, go to YouTube, just search for the same channel name as here. I have three channels. One for VODs, uh, one for highlights, and another one where I do streams every now and then on YouTube. But if you go to the VODs channel, just... Go to the playlist area and you'll see all the games that I've played, including all the Zelda games up until this point, so... You do check that out. Or you can go to shambles.gg and also get links to everything I do on the internet. Okay, I will give back to you as soon as I had the Tinsius taste. You won't... Won't you please let me have a bite, lick, tiny crumb? Okay. But little one, if I eat it, will you no longer have a shield? Do you mind? It's fine. Oh, oh. 
We don't need a shield. Really? Gora, thank you, Gora. I'll dig right in. Alright, he ate my shield, that's all. Nom nom nom. Mmm, delicious. It was a deep, rich taste surpassing even the greatest praise I have heard. Just a few more bites, please. Okay, so he ate my shield, that's it. He just ate my shield. <laughs> is that really what he- is that really all he does? He just eats my- eats your shield and that's it? Okay. Should I look this up? <laughs> I feel... <laughs> I mean, I don't want... Oh, do I really want to find out what this is? He, there's no way he just eats my shield and that's it. What do you mean? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look this up. I won't- I won't look up what happens, but I'll just look up, is that really what he does? Okay, it's a time thing again. He will eat the shield, and then if I come back later, something will happen. That's a spoiler-free thing, so... Uh... Do you really want to see it, chat? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it's gonna be, but like... I don't have a shield. The thing is, how long are we talking about? Ugh. This is so weird. The the light arrow is being something that you get locked out of, and then this after you've beaten the final boss. Like, what's the point? Okay. Uh. Okay. Let me just see. Bigger on minish cap time. chat. We're not going to do this, unfortunately. <laughs> Would you like to know how long it takes? I'll tell you. After 20 minutes of not having a shield, he will, he will give me my reward. After 20 minutes of not having- I'm not- I'm not playing for 20 more minutes. Uh, we're not doing that. So... Uh, yeah. He ate my shield, that's the end. <laughs> Get my flower? Ah, uh, but like... If- you know what? Alright, for comedy- for comedy's sake. For comedy's sake. I'm going to go to, uh... Did I get anything for the shield thing? No, but I get a reward in 20 minutes. That's what it says. It says about 20 minutes you gotta wait. But I mean, the game's done at this point. It's just... Whatever I'm getting, it, it's, I guess, for the sake of completion. I'm gonna check the flower thing. Imagine if I go there and it's not ready. That, I think, it, for the sake of comedy, I want to see it done. Because I, I did three laps of this stupid thing and it still didn't give me the flower. 
So you know what? We'll do that at the very least to wrap it up. Um, I'll look up what, what it gives you so then we know, okay? But this is indeed the end. Because I'm not waiting 20 minutes. I want to get some sleep. Because we got Twilight Princess to do. I can't believe that. Ugh. Okay. Congratulations. There we go. The flower grew. Okay. Uh, this will wrap up the playthrough. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you did enjoy the playthrough. Despite the, uh, yeah. The, uh, gacha quest. Okay, let's find out. Bigger on, Minish Cap, what's the reward? Okay. Uh, spits out the mirror shield. So, the result of it is you get the mirror shield. And it reflects projectiles back. Which is very useful. But the game is over. So... Okay, this is so weird. The mirror shield, it gives it to a point in time when the game's over, and then the light arrows, if you don't find the old man in time, the old man dies and then you don't get light arrows. Like, that's bizarre. Anyway, now we know. Okay, this is where it's going to end. Thank you for watching.